As we know, y is equal to sec x, then its derivative, that is dy upon dx, is equal to sec x 10x. Here in this video, I am going to prove this derivative with the help of first principle. So, let y is equal to sec x. Let it be equation number 1. Let delta x be the increment given to x and delta y be the corresponding increment in y. So equation number 1 becomes y plus delta y is equal to sec x plus delta x. Now transposing y to right hand side we have delta y is equal to sec x plus delta x minus y. Substituting y is equal to sec x from equation number 1. In this equation we have delta y is equal to sec x plus delta x minus sec x. So now delta y is equal to sec x may be written as 1 upon cos. So one uh, sec x plus delta x may be written as 1 upon cos x plus delta x minus and sec x may be written as 1 upon cos x. Now taking LCM we get in denominator cos x plus delta x into cos x and in numerator we have cos x minus cos x plus delta x. As we know by the standard formula of cos c minus cos d, cos c minus cos d is equal to 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin d minus c by 2. So 2 sin x plus x plus delta x upon 2 c plus d upon 2 into sine d minus c by 2. So x plus delta x minus x upon 2 divided by cos x plus delta x into cos x. Now, here in this numerator 2 sine, in this bracket we have 2x upon plus delta x upon 2 and here negative and positive x are cancelled and we have only sine delta x upon 2 divided by cos x plus delta x into cos x. Now dividing both sides by delta x. Dividing both sides by delta x we get delta y upon delta x is equal to 2 sin here we may split these two terms as x plus delta x upon 2 upon cos x plus delta x into cos x and in the numerator del sin delta x upon 2 and because we have divided both sides by delta x. So here on the left hand side we have delta y upon delta x and here on the right hand side we put delta x in the denominator of sin delta x upon 2 and in the next step we may shift this 2 from the numerator in the denominator of delta x. So 
this expression we will written as sine x plus delta x upon 2 divided by cos x plus delta x into cos x into sine delta x upon 2 upon delta x upon 2. Now taking limits delta x tends to 0 on both sides delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 sine x plus delta x upon 2 divided by cos x plus delta x into cos x into sine delta x upon 2 upon delta x upon 2. Now here on the left hand side we have del uh, limit delta x tends to 0 del y upon del x which is written as dy upon dx in differential calculus dy upon dx on the left hand side on the right hand side if we apply limit delta x tends to 0 so substituting delta x is equal to 0 in this expression we have sin x plus 0 that is only sin x in the numerator upon cos x plus 0 only cos x and this cos x as it is because there is no delta x in this and here we may apply the standard limit limit theta tends to 0 sin theta upon theta is equal to 1 so the same structure this expression has sin delta x upon 2 upon delta x upon 2 and delta x tends to 0 so delta x upon 2 will also tends to 0 so we may write it as 1 by using this standard limit so ultimately we have dy upon dx is equal to 1 cos with this sign becomes 10 because sin x upon cos x is 10 and other cos as written in the reciprocal 1 upon cos x it becomes sec x so we have on the right hand side sec x into 10 x so if y is equal to sec x then its differential coefficient is sec x into 10 x and here we have proved this is standard result. The same way you may prove the derivative of cosec x is minus cosec x cot x. So you better try yourself.